<coughs> oh. Oh. Thanks, love, and, and I am sorry. I could hardly sleep last night thinking about you out here in the freezing cold. Oh, it wasn't too bad in the tent, though. You still need to see a doctor. Hey, no, I'm going nowhere, you know that. But if you could get me one of them fancy coffees from Bob, I can put a nip of that whiskey in it. I'll be, I'll be right as a bobbin. Are the troops holding up? Oh, I wonder when we get the introduction. Yeah, uh, Alex, this is Belle. You already know me, Uncle Zach, and this is Lisa. Lovely to meet you at last. It's his day off, but I thought he could maybe check over Uncle Zach. <laughs> There's no need for all that, no. I've got lungs like leather chaps, me. <laughs> Zach, inside now. No, what if that daft Morris turns up again? Then we'll be ready for him. He's not just standing with a stethoscope, you know. Please, Zach. Oh. You take another deep breath for me. Deep as you can. <coughs> <coughs> what do you think, Doctor? Well, it's crickling around like an old scratched vinyl in there, and you've got a temperature, so... No, no, I'm right as rain. Better go and check the sights. Don't want any vehicle getting past. On it. You won't go to the hospital. I'm going to have to bring your GP. Hey. Oh, no, there's no need for all that. You've got severe chest infection. You need to be on an antibiotic straight away. It's not but a cold. You'll be gone in a couple of days. You'll be gone in a couple of days if you don't start listening. Oh. These things can turn just like that. She's right, I'm afraid. If it's not treated quickly, at your age especially, it could develop into pneumonia. You've got to start facing things. But this is our home. I know, love. But it won't be if you're not in it. It's not worth losing you over it. She's right, Uncle Zach. There's other ways of protesting. Yeah, there are, love. And we'll find them. But this has got to stop. 